After studying this module, you shall be able to know about the thermal power plant and its uses, understand the working of a particular coal-based thermal plant, identify the components and functions of every single parts of a thermal power plant, evaluate the problems regarding the continuous use of power plants and its effects on human health, prevention and control of thermal pollution. Dear students, in this module, we will discuss about thermal power plants and their impact on the environment. Thermal pollution is the harmful increase in water temperature in streams, rivers, lakes or occasionally coastal ocean waters. Thermal pollution is caused by either dumping hot water from factories or power plants or removing trees and vegetation that shade streams permitting sunlight to raise the temperature of these waters. Like other forms of water pollution, thermal pollution is widespread affecting many lakes and vast number of streams and rivers in the entire world. The heated water causes a lowering of dissolved oxygen in the body of water. The decrease in dissolved oxygen creates anaerobic conditions in the water body, thereby disrupting the ecological balance and decrease in biodiversity. A temperature increase as small as 1 or 2 degree Celsius or 2 to 4 degree Fahrenheit can kill native fish, shellfish and plants or drive them out in favor of other species often with undesirable effects. We will also discuss the sources of thermal pollution which includes devegetation, industrial effluents, nuclear power plants, coal-fired power plants, domestic sewage and radioactive waste. We will understand each of them in further detail. Majority of thermal power plants use coal for power generation. Therefore, they are called, called as coal-fired power plants. In these plants, coal is brought from coal mines, crushed and pulverized. This powdered coal is burned within water and steam is generated. The whole process takes place inside the boiler. After that, it is superheated in order to rotate the turbines and the rotational energy of the turbines is then converted into electrical energy. There are a total of 115 thermal power plants in India. 39 of them are in western India, 31 in eastern part of India, 29 in northern part of India and 19 in the southern region. Thermal power plant at Kolkata is the largest source of electricity in India. The total installed electricity generation capacity in India is about 1,74,361 megawatts. Of this total electricity production, 9, 93,918 megawatts that is 54% of the total is from coal based thermal power plants. Some large companies have their own thermal power plants to supply electricity for their facilities. Therefore, India is going ahead with a large number of thermal power plants in order to fulfill their electricity needs. By knowing the process of generation, 
it is clear that the use of these power plants causes many pollution related hazards. They also impact the food security as many of these thermal power plants are being constructed on agricultural land. Establishment of thermal power plants has an effect on local civic amenities and work related hazards to employees of thermal power plants. Maximum number of accidents are caused by coal based thermal power plants due to hazardous working conditions. The working of a thermal power plant leads to many challenges. Coal which is used in these plants is found only in the eastern parts of India and therefore requires transportation through large distances. This suspended ash causes a lot of health problems for the workers who are at times forced to leave their houses and rehabilitate. Latest technologies are being introduced in order to increase the efficiency of coal based thermal power plants. For this purpose high pressure and high temperature steam conditions have been promoted. Manufacturing techniques are also getting advanced which includes processing, welding and inspection. In Japan, the new technologies are being adopted such as small capacity non reheat steam turbines, new digital control systems and remote monitoring. The continuous research and development in Japan have developed the energy security for coal thermal power plants. It is done by reducing the production of carbon dioxide so as to reduce global warming. The industrial growth of any country depends upon the availability of electricity. India has 250 billion metric tons of coal reserve which can be used in thermal power plants for the next 50 to 60 years. Each thermal power plant emits carbon dioxide and fly ash which are hazardous for health and also contribute to global warming. Therefore, India must look for alternative sources of electricity. Sources of Thermal Pollution Electric Power Plant In electric power plants, heat is generated when the coal, oil or natural gas is heated or nuclear fuels undergoes fission to release large amount of energy. The heat generated turns water into steam, which in turn to spins turbines to generate electricity. After completing this work, the span team should be cooled and it condenses back to the water. To cool the steam, cold water is taken by the plant and rotated adjacent to the hot steam. In this method, the water used for condensing warm to 5 to 10 Celsius degrees, 9 to 18 Fahrenheit degrees. After that, it may be put back to the lake, river or ocean from where it came. Generally, factories add to thermal pollution when they use waste water to cool their machinery, devegetation. The streams and small lakes are generally kept cooled by the trees and other tall plants which restrict the sunlight. People may remove the shading vegetation in respect to grow crops or to construct buildings, roads and different structures. Such unshaded water gets warm as high as 10 degrees Celsius. Similarly, grazing by sheep and cattle may cut stream bank vegetation containing young shrubs and trees. In fact, the removal of vegetation away from stream or lake enhances the impact of thermal pollution by rapid increase in the soil erosion by the water by making it muddy. Muddy water takes more energy by the sun as compared to transparent water. Finally, 
water running from the artificial surfaces that is streets parking lots roofs is hotter than water running from the vegetated land and thus involved in the thermal pollution industrial effluents industries like textiles and sugar require cold water for the removal of heat and for the cooling purposes this heated water when discharged to the water system by increasing the water body temperature nuclear power plants nuclear power plants radiate large amount of heat and parts of radioactive substances by which the temperature of water bodies increases coal fired power plants it is one of the most important sources of thermal pollution domestic sewage when the domestic sewage is released out to water bodies such as river lakes etc the temperature of the receiving water increases radioactive waste collection of the radioactive waste in the marine ecosystem leads to increase in temperature as such substances radiate high energy effect of thermal pollution there are two forms of effect of thermal pollution thermal shock by the decrease in do levels there causes suffocation in plants and animal species which produces anaerobic conditions the immediate changes in the temperature create harm to the aquatic organisms thermal enrichment the heated water is utilized for irrigation purposes in order to extend plant in growing seasons the hotter water also increases the rate of metabolism in aquatic organism which decreases the life period of these organisms the rapid growth is beneficial for commercial purposes thermal power plant components and their working first coal conveyor it is transporting device which help in transportation of coal from the place where it is stored to the place near boiler second pulverizer it is used to crush the coal in the furnace they are of two types namely ball tube mill and ring ball after the pulverization process the coal is dropped into the boiler third boiler coal is burnt in the combustion chamber of the boiler and gases forming at the time of the combustion process are utilized to vaporize water and steam is generated fourth condenser it condenses the steam and converts it into water and use as a heat exchanger during the whole process the steam latent heat is moved from the condenser fifth cooling tower the water obtained from the condenser is at higher temperature therefore it is essential to reduce the temperature for this method the water is passed by the cooling tower the cooling tower therefore works as a sink to heat in this process the atmospheric air revolves with water either directly or indirectly and water get cooled there are basically two forms of cooling towers evaporating and non evaporating sixth air preheater in the steam boiler it is used to utilize some part of heat it is also termed as air heater and it is placed at the entry to boiler it basically helps to maximize boiler efficiency 7 electrostatic precipitator it is used to charge the particles of dust so as to remove them from flue gases 8 steam turbine the steam turbine is helpful to change the heat energy of steam to mechanical energy the steam turbine is separately structured from the main reactor building 9 generator it is an apparatus which used to change the mechanical energy obtained from turbines to electrical energy by increase or decrease in the voltage thermal power plants problem thermal power plants 
make use of coal as a fuel. Its utilization causes greatest loss to the environment and human health. Each and every step of coal utility affects air, water and land resources. Once coal is burnt, a huge amount of ash is produced and controlling ash is a main problem as it requires a long time and a large amount of water. Also, the maintenance and cost of operating of thermal power plant is very high. Availability of a good quality of coal is also difficult. Thermal pollutants. The pollutants released during the use of thermal power plants cause thermal pollution. It contains the chemical and gases. Coal dust, carbon dioxide, fly ash, chlorinated water, excess of heat, heavy metal residues. Fly ash. The fly ash is basically composed of silica, iron oxide, aluminium oxide, titanium oxide, potassium oxide, calcium oxide and phosphorus pentoxide. It is estimated that per year production of fly ash by the combustion of coal in a thermal power plant is about 12.21 million tons. The third part of this ash forced to the air and rest goes to water and lands. When these ashes enter into atmospheric air, they create main breathing problems and this may also lead to water pollution and consumption of impure water and food causes health hazards to humans. Mercury as byproduct in coal combustion. It is main constituent of coal ash. It is estimated that about 42% of the mercury present in coal is released in atmospheric air near coal-based power plants. It causes poisoning if inhaled because it destroys the cell structure and stops the functioning of hemoglobin present inside the blood. By this, people who live near power plants are attacked by dreadful diseases. Air pollution. Coal burning centers lead to emission of noxious gases which causes air pollution. This polluted air is the major factor for acid rain and global warming. Acid rain is by the combustion of oxides of sulfur and nitrogen. It causes visible damage to the environment. It badly affects the forests and monuments. Acid rain are the main reason of large-scale forest death. For growing, trees require 16 elements out of which calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium and manganese are the most important. But the parts of acid rain that is sulfate ions and nitrate ions abstract cations from the soil. Thus soil become deficient of nutrient elements and this adversely affects the forest's health. Also monuments consist of marbles are attacked by an acid rain and formation of soluble calcium sulfate takes place. Calcium carbonate plus Sulfuric acid gives calcium ions, sulfate ions, sulfuric acid and carbon dioxide. The disfigurement of monuments increases as number of power plants increases. Water pollution. Thermal power plants require huge amount of water for its working. The sink water of such power plants contain heavy metals as bismuth, arsenic, mercury, which produce varied toxic effects or groundwater and produces various toxic effects making the water unsuitable for domestic use. Thermal power plants effluent causes decomposition or corrosion of drinking water pipes, supply 
and results in the physical deterioration of pipes because of which water becomes unfit for drinking. Discharge of coolant water pollutes aquatic ecosystems. Living organisms in water are affected by sudden increase in water temperature and that disrupts the biological cycle. The number of lakes with fisheries is decreased due to pollution in water. The part of aluminium passes into lakes is consumed by fishes and leads to iron regulating, osmoregulating and respiratory dysfunctions. The decrease in pH of lake water causes lowering in reproduction of fishes. Unlike warm-blooded animals, fish and other cold-blooded organisms does not have a regular mechanism for maintaining a particular inner body temperature. Therefore, when temperature of water changes, the organism's body temperature also change. The emerging thermal stress can be lethal to some species. Factors such as diet, age, exposure of previous temperature, weather, seasons and chemical composition of water may change the particular lethal temperature point for fishes. Under given conditions, for example, brown trout cannot stray in the water at a temperature above 79 degree Fahrenheit, 26 degree Celsius. However, some hard fish, generally termed as rough fish, can stay at higher temperatures. Carp, for example, they can live at 95 degree Fahrenheit, that is 35 degree Celsius temperature of water. Lake trout, for example, cruise very rapidly as the temperature near to 61 Fahrenheit or 16 degree Celsius, but then it slows down above that temperature. A temperature of water at 75 degree Fahrenheit or 24 degree Celsius is lethal for them. As the fish's level of activity decreases, so does its ability to catch food. Land pollution. There are large number of thermal power plants across the world and many agricultural lands are being destroyed for the purpose of construction of thermal power plants. Due to this, the natural properties of soil are also changing as it becomes more alkaline because of the basic nature of ash. Not only the construction of thermal power plant needs land but include the disposal of waste that is coal ash ponds or mounds require large area of land. It may be noted that in contrast to other countries Indian coal has least calorific value and high contents of ash. Ash is primarily composed of compounds of silicon, aluminium, iron, calcium, manganese, potassium and sodium. The composition of ash basically builds on the coal handling that is combustion techniques and combustion conditions. This will affect the fertility of land soil. Also, for a coal-based thermal power plant, the land must be closer to the area of coal mines. Noise pollution. The power plant generates a lot of noise which affect the nearby population. Also, due to transportation process of power plants, the level of noise of the nearby localities rises. External costs. It includes ecosystem costs, agricultural costs and health costs. Ecosystems cost include the cost due to damage to the local ecosystem because of the thermal power plants. Such a cost primarily represent the loss of forest lands and habitats of wild animals due to the establishment of thermal power plant. Also, there is loss of fisheries due to water pollution caused by these power plants. 
there is a loss in agriculture because of the land loss which can be estimated to be rupees 0.0002-0.0084 per kilowatt hour. Prevention and Control Thermal pollution from power plants and factories is comparatively simple to control in spite of releasing warmer water in lakes and streams power plants and factories that can pass the warmer water by cooling towers either wet or dry or cooling ponds where evaporation cools the water before it is discharged in both forms warmer water is established to a tower by which air is blown and heat is passed into the air. In the wet towers, water and air both are intermixed, resulting in water loss. In dry towers, a gadget like a car radiator carry the warmer water and less water is lost. In United States, the problem of the industrial thermal pollution was firstly taken in 1970 when the Congress gave the Atomic Energy Commission authority to regulate thermal pollution from the nuclear power plants. In 1972, the Comprehensive Clean Water Act said the Environmental Protection Agency to issue rules to clean all hot water discharges from all power plants, that is, nuclear or conventional. Till then, Thermal pollution from the power plants was not a major issue in the United States. To prevent thermal pollution by the devegetation, the prescription is easy. That do not devegetate. Landowners may leave strips of trees and vegetation on the streams and shorelines. Grazing livestock may be removed away from stream sites by the fencing. All efforts to be taken to control erosion may also have the effect to keep water transparent and thus cool it. As a practical matter, however, thermal pollution from the devegetation is somehow hard to control as it is produced by the cumulative effect of so many people's action, most of which are individually minor. Regulations focus on a few important threats. Grazing management plan for immediate are considered to control the thermal pollution and other problems on land which are owned by the federal government. In United States, regulations of the governing logging on both the public and private lands are supposed to protect stream sites even enforcement is often lax, instead of which streamside protection is based upon the private landowners which are encouraged and are aided by some advisory organization such as the Federal Natural Resources Conservation Service and Cooperative Resource Conservation Districts. Several suggestions for the usefulness of thermal pollution have been made. Among them, it is the possible use of the heated water under the fields to increase the crops of the growing season, which city streets in winter to melt snow, or in cold estuarial areas for the increased growth of the fish and shellfish. At the moment, these techniques are not tested on a large scale. All solutions must consider the general health of the environment as well as energy use patterns. Overall, population growth and other factors. Alternatively, power plants can be structured or refitted to be more suitable and to generate least waste heat in the first place. In a process called congeneration, the increase of heat energy for generating electricity may be used in another manufacturing process requires that energy. 
where homes or other buildings are situated near the industrial plants, waste hot water is utilized. For heating, an arrangement may be found in the Scandinavian towns and cities and proposed for use in China. Socio-economic effects Establishment of thermal power plants affect the local civic amenities and work regarding hazardous to the employees of the thermal power plants. Maximum numbers of accidents are due to the coal-based thermal power plants caused by the hazardous working condition. The workers engaged in thermal power plants have many problems as coal which is utilized in the power plants that are found only in eastern parts of the country. Therefore, they are required to transport coal to long distances. Also, the suspended ash causes a lot of health problems and the workers have to face it each day. Also, disaster caused by thermal power plants forced people to leave their houses and rehabilitation. Disasters of thermal power plants There are various accidents occurred due to establishment of huge number of the thermal power plants. Every country is focusing on economic development which means development of power plants for electricity generation. Construction of the most of the thermal plants is then nothing but inviting disaster. Some of the infamous disasters caused by thermal power plants are first in 1907, Monogra coal mine have a great disaster which caused loss of 362 lives and around $162 million of money loss. The reason for the disaster was underground explosion which trapped workers and destroyed railroad bridges leading into mine. Second, in 1951, at thermal power plant in North India, the fire moved out of the conveyor area of the coal handling plant. It was estimated that the disaster had caused a loss of rupees 60 lakhs. Third, at Obra thermal power station at Mirzapur, Uttar Pradesh, it was found that the pollutants of thermal power plants affected the vegetation around the locality. The concentration of noxious gases was very high near the places where the power plant was constructed. Fourth, at Ramagundam thermal power station, it was noted that the ash pond decants had harmful impacts on marine biodiversity. Similar effect was also observed at Chandrapur Thermal Power Station. Future Thermal Power Plants Thermal power plants are useful for generation of electricity. Therefore, they are the key component of industrial development. As across the world, the demands of electricity is increasing the introduction of high performance and low price thermal power plants will be the future prospect of every country. Latest technologies are being introduced so as to increase the efficiency of coal based thermal power plants. For this purpose high pressure and high temperature stream conditions has been promoted. Manufacturing methods getting advanced which includes processing, welding and inspection. In Japan, the new technologies are being adopted such as small capacity, non-reheated steam turbines, digital new control system and remote monitoring. The continuous research and development in Japan have developed the security of energy for the coal thermal power plants. It is done by reducing the production of carbon dioxide 
to control global warming. Also in South Africa, carbon captured techniques are possible in used in order to reduce global warming. Also in other countries like Poland, China have potential to carbon dioxide by its storage and in underground structures. Indian prospects increasing industrial growth is primarily based on the availability of electricity. Particularly in India, 250 billion metric tons of coal reserve is expected to be used in thermal power plants in the next 50 to 60 years. Every thermal plant station emits carbon dioxide, fly ash, which is hazardous for health and also contributes to global warming. Therefore, India is in search of an alternate resource of electricity. A number of new improved designs are ready to be practically used. Dear students, let us recapitulate what we have learned in this lesson. Thermal power plants basically use fossil fuels to generate electricity. In these stations, fuel is burnt and used to generate steam from water. They are the largest source of electricity in India. The total installed electricity generation capacity is about 1,74,361 megawatts of which 93,918 megawatts which amounts to 54% of the total is from coal based thermal power plants. The continuous use of these power plants cause many pollution related problems. They also impact the food security as many of the thermal power plants are being constructed on agricultural lands. In these plants, coal is brought from coal mines in area of power plant. They are first crushed and then pulverized. This powdered coal is burned within water and steam is generated. The pollutants released by the thermal power plants include fly ash, mercury and carbon dioxide. When these ashes enter into the atmospheric air, they create breathing problems and also pollute water. Consumption of impure water and food causes health hazards to humans. To overcome these, we need to use high pressure and high temperature steam conditions available in latest technology and also look for alternative sources of energy.